So we're gonna be doing an experiment today and the experiment is, can you use two different types of memory? So this is the Ballistics Sport DDR4 by Crucial. And this is clocked at 2,400 megahertz. Whereas I've got G-Skill, this is clocked at 4,266. So 4,266 megahertz, yeah. So we're gonna, I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM in there. So what I'm gonna do is take out the first stick and we're gonna do, a, well, actually, before we can do that, we're gonna do a benchmark, see what we get with it. So we'll turn on the computer now. And um, what we're gonna do, do the benchmark, have a look, see what kind of speed and spec that we're getting. Obviously, this is a slower bit of RAM, but the whole point is, can you mix them together and will it work? And still get a benchmark without freezing, cutting off or anything like that. Obviously, this is a lower RAM frequency than what that is by quite a considerable amount. So let's do a quick synthetic benchmark, because I know how much you like that, not. But anyway, so I'm gonna run Cinebench quickly. Uh, run CPU. So what benchmark we're gonna get. I haven't overclocked or anything like that. Everything's running as it's meant to be. Just normal real world results. If we're gonna do a benchmark, some people would actually take everything off so it's clean, but I just wanna do it from a cold boot. So we've got 1,781 uh, CB, CB, 1,781. Mark that in your calendar, calendar diaries. So I'm gonna shut the computer down now. And the whole test is now, I'm gonna take out one of those RAM sticks and see if the ballistic's gonna work well with the G skill, or even turn on without failing. So let's have a look. Turn it off completely. I'm gonna take out the last one at the end. So that RAM sticks out. Now the crucial ballistics RAM. We're gonna stick that in there. Oh my God, this, this feels really weird that I'm even doing this. All right, you heard that clunk and click, that's actually in there. Now let's try it now, see if it works. We've turned it on first. Oh wow, it's powered on without me even having to power it on. Where's the RGB on it? Where's the RGB? Is it gonna power on? Can it work? That's the experiment, can it work? Or is it gonna blow up in my face? Is it even gonna power on? It's obviously got power there, but... No. Okay. You can see clearly it's not working. Okay. Well, that cut the video really short because I actually thought it would work and I could do a synthetic benchmark to it. Okay. That's really annoying. Oh, well. Subscribe, share, like and follow me on all social media platforms. And if you like those sort of experiments, then uh, obviously... Comment down below and share, not comment, yeah. Comment down below, share the video so everyone else can see it and come up with other ideas and I'll test it and uh, see how, it, how we get on. But yeah, obviously you can see it's not working. So that's the end of the experiment. Anyway, Roger and out.